Reliance Intelligence, India's AI moonshot, or just AGM theatrics. Let's start with what happened in the AGM 63 times. Any guesses? Mukesh Ambani said AI 63 times in his chairman's address. Yes, 63 times. And this doesn't even include Akash Ambani's launch of geoframes, the AI flowered glasses. Wow, that must mean Reliance is serious about AI. But despite all this AI talk, the share price of Reliance just keeps falling. Why? Lots of promises, lots of vision, but very little clarity, very little details. So today we will do a deep dive and understand about Reliance Intelligence, the new AI arm of Reliance Industries. What is Reliance Intelligence? First, that Reliance is creating a new separate wholly owned subsidiary of Reliance Industries, not just rebranding. This is a new company. Second, this is Reliance transformation into a deep tech enterprise. They want to shift focus. Third, Reliance Intelligence is the AI engine for India. AI can now be called the new Kam Denu, the divine wish-fulfilling cow of our age. Like Geo was for telecom, Reliance Intelligence is meant to be the AI counterpart. The value of Reliance Geo is pecked upwards of $100 billion, maybe even $150 billion. So what's another empire when you already own oil, retail, and telecom? Might as well own what is now being called the new AI factories, the fancy new term for full stack AI data centers. Reliance Intelligence has four missions. The first is AI infrastructure. The second is global partnerships. The third is AI for Bharat. The fourth is talent incubator. The most powerful part of the story is the AI infrastructure. The rest, well, I felt it was just like an add-on, but we'll delve into all four and what happened to open AI. The four missions of Reliance Intelligence. Mission one, AI infrastructure. Reliance Intelligence is going to build gigawatt scale AI ready data centers that are clean energy powered. Translation, the Jamnagar build out we already knew about is about to get rebranded with a lot of AI glitter and about to get much, much bigger. The data center was announced in 2025 and Ambani has now confirmed that work has already begun in this data center. It's supposed to be the largest data center to date and will come online in 2027. Now the question is how many more data centers are to come? As Mukesh Ambani said, these facilities will be delivered in phases and aligned to India's growing needs. And they're going to be powered by Reliance's new energy ecosystem and custom made for AI training and inference. So to understand this statement, we have to understand the global landscape to see what is happening. Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA in its quarter two conference call, just told us that CapEx of the top four hyperscalers in the US has doubled in the last two years. It is touching upwards of $600 billion. Investment in AI data centers will reach three to four trillion by the end of the decade. There are huge investments coming in data centers as countries build sovereign capabilities. You've got enterprise rollouts, you've got AI rollouts, and you've got robotics coming. Jensen went on to say, as the AI revolution went into full steam, the AI race is now on. So who are the four big hyperscalers building these data centers? You've got Amazon, you've got Microsoft, you've got Google, and you've got Meta. And I will add a fifth, OpenAI with its Stargate plans. And they all have huge missions and huge investments planned. We are seeing the craze for data center build out by both OpenAI and Meta. Amazon and Microsoft have also been quietly building capabilities. They're not so loud about it. Reliance is expected to pour 20 to $30 billion into a three gigawatt green powered compute hub in Jamnagar. NVIDIA chips, 
Gemini stacks, geo network, and enough solar, wind, and hydrogen to power a small nation. There's a heavy emphasis on renewable energy plus AI. As we know that AI factories are power heavy, is Reliance going to show how a cost effective solution can be built? And the second question is whether Reliance is going to be India's hyperscaler. Mission number two of Reliance Intelligence, Global Partnerships. Meta and Google were name dropped like celebrity cameos because no AI launch is complete without Silicon Valley validation. Mark Zuckerberg and Sundar Pichai both endorsed Reliance Intelligence during the AGM. But are these partnerships meaningful? We'll come back to that in a bit. Was Reliance the AI bride left at the altar? Remember those whispers about OpenAI and Reliance tying the knot? That wedding never happened. OpenAI ran away and went solo. Poof, no deal, no announcement, no Sam Altman on stage. Reliance pivoted and suddenly Meta's Lama showed up with a ring and Google flexed its cloud muscle. So Reliance didn't cancel the ceremony. It just swapped out the groom, updated the playlist and called it a strategic leap. Let's talk about deal one with Meta. A 855 crore joint venture was announced. Reliance owning 70%, Meta gets 30. And who really wins? Llama, because it gets the Indian sandbox. It sounds flashy until you realize it's a hundred million dollar play in a world where open AI and Anthropic are burning billions. The goal of this dedicated joint venture with Meta is to combine open models and tools with execution in energy, retail, telecom, media, and manufacturing, and to deliver enterprise-ready AI for India. The money is paltry, the mission is lofty, and still who wins? Meta gets access to Reliance user base. And Reliance gets to say, we're doing AI without paying AI prices. Deal number two was Google's enterprise cloud spin. Seemed more like a Google sales story. There's going to be a dedicated Google cloud region in Jamnagar. And as I see it, Google is buying space in Jamnagar data centers and deploying Gemini. There are gonna be pre-packaged tools for sales, marketing, IT, and customer services. Basically, plug and play AI for Indian enterprises. Reliance positions itself as an AI factory in the cloud with Reliance building the data center and Google providing the tools. Now let's talk about the softer missions that were just that, no numbers, just vision. Mission number three, AI for Bharat. Reliance promised us a trusted, easy to use AI services for consumers, enterprises, and agriculture. It's a noble phrase, sounds very inclusive, but so far, light on the specifics. Felt more like a vision statement than an actual roadmap. Mission number four was to become a talent incubator. Big claim, attract world-class researchers and engineers with no budgets, no timelines, and no IIT tie-ups. Right now, it's just vibes and maybe a fancy LinkedIn post waiting to happen. Mission number five, they didn't call it that, but they spoke about this. Building human-centered robotics powered by AI. They promised new industries, new agriculture models, and new jobs. Futuristic, ambitious, but once again, details missing. For now, it's less a plan, more a placeholder for maybe someday. But forget glasses and JV and sound bites. The real meat, I think, is in the Jamnagar data centers and maybe more data centers to come in the future. As Jensen Wong has said, the AI race is on and they're happening at the infrastructure layer. Sam Altman wants to build 1 million GPUs in Texas. Facebook is building out its 50 billion dollar data center in Louisiana and Reliance is building right here in Jamnagar. This isn't just about India. It's about making Reliance an AI factory and AI hyperscaler. With 500 million users at Geo, a $30 billion data center under development and possibly more to come, and a telecom empire at its back, can it transform Jamnagar into a global AI hub? 
the backbone for sovereign compute, enterprise adoption, and maybe even India's shot at AI independence. Mukesh Ambani calls this project the foundation for India to become a global leader in AI, the Kam Dhenu. Because if not, we've just all witnessed the most expensive costume change in corporate history.